Yep, we just made a move and we found a cow patty. Everyone's bit. Got fish going, Renee's on. I'm hooked. We got 15 or so hooked up. Here comes one fish right now. There it is. It's just wide open chaos. Get in front of your fish. Stay right there. Stay right there. Stay in your fish. Ron's got a fish right here. There's another fish. There's three fish tangled together right here. Cut that one off. Free swimmers all around the boat. Yeah, coming to you. Just leave them in the water. You guys switch places. All right, heads up. All right, go around, go around, go around. All the way around, all the way around. Bunch of rods here. Here comes my fish right here. Gaff! Yeah. I'm gonna bounce it. There's my fish right here. Here comes my yellowtail. My first yellowtail of the day. We got about 20 fish going right now, it's wide open. This is crazy. This is what fish is like. Oh. Woo -hoo. <laughs> this one we didn't Beautiful. let get away. This one we Beautiful. captured. Play nice great nice bluefin tuna here. Woo. Went to go put his head down, we plucked him up just before he uh Nice yeah. Good, Good one. one. Woo! Yeah, Gloria. Yes, we did it! Yeah. Babe, I got it! Look, this is it! My first one! Eight years I've been after this. Eight years! Yeah, you gotta eat the heart now. Yay! Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yay! Oh, I got Yes. All right, let's bring your rod over here. So I got another fish going. Last couple of fish I got either sawed off or fish bit through the line. So now I've moved up to 50 pound test line. A little bit bigger reel, a little bit heavier rod. So I can pull on it, force it a little bit more. Hopefully it's a nice and great fish. Work my way up this way. We got five more fish going in the back of the boat. I'm just trying to stay away from those. So every time the fish picks his head up, he's going to take a crank or two. Just want to bring him up, convince him he's going to die, and it makes it a little easier. Just get a nice crank or two on him. You see him? Deep color. So I have my fish going in circles. If I had a two-speed reel, I guess you could press a button now, but this fish is manageable right now. Straight up and down, deep color. Where are you? No, I didn't. There we go. There's my tuna, and just got that fly lining. And you see my hook right there. Got lucky, got right in the corner of the jaw. I've lost a couple because the tuna have teeth, and they swallowed my hooks and they cut through the line. But we got this one. Nice gaff, man. It's up. It could be. Hey, Alex. 
catch it from Maryland. Good job, Anthony. <laughs> Knot it up, stay on the line. There you go, buddy. All right. Good deal. Another one. Good enough. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Perfect timing. Awesome. He did. <laughs> but I got him. <laughs> 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 I was like, is that you or did I lose it? The wine. The wine. No! Alright. On my line. Slide ride, guys. Under the Steve, court. Steve, get your rod over here. This rod right here, right here. Steve, get your rod over here. Over here, this is forcing. Right there. There we go. Another yellow tail. Three for me. Two more for my limit. We're out here on the eclipse. We just went by that cow patty. First time we went by there, we got about 20 fish. Second time, this is the only fish we got so far. See if some tuna come by too. All right, we take a little break, a little break from the action here aboard the eclipse and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious fish that we're catching today. This week in the galley, we're in Anaheim, California at Eat Street. And standing next to me is Kate Averill. She's a chef and owner here, and she does cooking lessons and classes. And today she's been kind enough to invite us down to show us how to cook up a fish dish. Thanks for having us. Oh, well, thank you. And what do you have in store for well, us Well, you today? brought in your beautiful yellowtail. We're gonna make a sushi that's a tartare. Makes a great appetizer all day long. These are happen to be homemade pita chips, but you can definitely get store-bought ones. Mm -hmm. Brush on a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of salt, and you're gonna broil them in the oven just until, until they're golden. It's very fast, so okay. don't leave and leave in the room. It's gonna be about a minute. All right, cool. Then you wanna make sure your fish is very cold. The colder it is, the easier it's gonna slice, and you wanna dice it, and you want all your pieces to look similar. So this is about an eighth inch. Then you're gonna go an eighth inch the other way. It's a very easy dish if all your mise en place is together. Mise en place is your French term for everything in its place. So before you even get started, you're gonna have your mise en place together, which is two tablespoons of basil, uh, a whole bunch of green onions, okay. scallions, two tablespoons cilantro, okay. a tablespoon of sesame oil, a tablespoon of soy sauce, a tablespoon of fresh ginger. You're gonna get, this is not the spice that your mom put in the apple pie or the pumpkin pie. You're gonna use fresh ginger, peeled and then minced up like this. A tablespoon of chili paste, tablespoon of salt, two tablespoons olive oil, and then a tablespoon, a teaspoon, sorry, of pepper, all into the bowl. Once your fish is all cut into eight inch dice, you put it all in here and then everything else just goes in order. So you're going to go olive oil, salt, chili paste, pepper, soy sauce, ginger, sesame oil, cilantro, looks like a lot of scallions, but it's not because our fish isn't all in there yet. And then basil, and the thing with sushi is that it gets a little bit better over time. You don't want it to cook, uh, cook, it's cook I'm calling it cooking. When, once everything in there, it kind of cooks a little bit, it gets better with time. So after about two hours, it's gonna be better, but not overnight. You don't want it to be like tomorrow morning. This sushi has an Asian flair and it is a hit every time when I cater parties. So when you serve this up, you're just gonna put as much fish as your pita chip can hold. Put it on your platter. Make sure it's nice and cold and you're good to go. This looks good. And if we were doing this at home, like you said, this would go in the refrigerator for an hour or two? I, one hour's good, three hours is even better, but don't go overnight. Well, 
I'm going to take 15 okay. seconds right now. <laughs> Perfect. Hmm. We can just taste all the ingredients. This is really good. Thank you, Kate. You're welcome. Thank you, Dan. Thanks a lot for helping us out. Absolutely. Remember, it's Eat Street, Anaheim, California. Kate, great job. Thank you. Cheers. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing.